Hello and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but yeah, it's quarantine. We're all in that quarantine feeling, so uh, don't mind the appearance. At this point, my hair has just come to the point where it's so long that it just cannot be contained. So today, I'm going to show you how my photo ended up on Medium, along with many other websites all, all across the internet. It's a super interesting process and it honestly isn't something that I have a lot of control over so it's kind of interesting to just see the internet kind of do its work and uh, yeah. So where it all starts is with a website called Unsplash. Unsplash is a site where um, anyone can upload their photos to and anyone can see them. But the thing that makes Unsplash so special versus many other um, photo websites is their license. So the license with Unsplash is that all photos published on Unsplash can be used for free. You can use them for commercial and non-commercial purposes. You do not need to ask for permission from or provide credit to the photographer. So these photos, as soon as you upload them onto Unsplash, are completely royalty free. Meaning that any person can download, modify, sell, or even claim as their own if they wanted to. Nothing is off the table with these photos. And that is unlike many other photography sites which require someone to buy a license to only be able to do certain things with them. But in the case of Unsplash, every single photo that is uploaded is able to be used by anyone, anywhere, in any way. So I've uploaded a couple of photos onto Unsplash, quite a few actually, and because of the flexibility of Unsplash and what it allows people to do with your photos, a lot of people use this website. And as it turns out, a lot of people have found my photos and have used them in various different places. If I come to my profile here and I click on stats, here I can see all of the views that I've ever had on my photos and all of the downloads that I've ever had on my photos. And I can specifically see photo by photo how many people have seen them. So what I think is crazy is maybe this first one right here, which over 1 million views, just over 1,200 downloads. The second one, 795,000 views and almost 3,000 downloads. Some of these numbers are ridiculous, like crazy. And I'm not even like a great photographer, I just like to take photos, but just from putting my pictures on this website, this is the kind of feedback that I get. And you can see I even have a couple of these that were featured on certain days, which is where Unsplash puts them in their editorial, which is right on their homepage. But anyways, one thing that I was thinking about just the other day is if I have over a million views on this photo and some of these have crazy high levels of downloads too. Where did these photos end up? And as you may have guessed, there's a way to find out. If I click on any one of my photos, for example, this picture that I took of a Starbucks drink, at least using Google Chrome, what you can do with any image is do a reverse Google image search. So for that, I just right click the image and say, search Google for image. And now Google finds all of the results that have my image in it. So for example, here's some from Unsplash. Here's one from The Tilt. I don't know what this is, but oh, there's my photo right on their homepage of this article. Looks like somebody wrote an article about the best non-coffee Starbucks drink. And there's my photo and my name right there. So that's kind of neat. You can go to the next page. Here we go, a link from the Odyssey online. So we've got some other Starbucks drinks and the pink drink. There's my photo, kinda neat. Or something like this blog, it looks like. There it is again. Apparently on a, a Weight Watchers article. And here is Medium. Medium is a pretty large blogging slash news outlet on the internet and they used my photo in an article called How Starbucks Uses Psychology to Create an Unforgettable Customer Experience. If we just scroll down just a little bit, there we are, my photo. And though you don't have to give credit, Medium chose to do that, which was very nice of them. I appreciate that a lot. And right there, photo by Elijah Bovert on Unsplash. And click on that and it brings me right to my page. How cool is that? We've got here, 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 but it looks like they 
poorly photoshopped my name off of the photo. <laughs> and that's just one of my photos. If I come to this one, for example, this is a picture of my old phone and it has a, a moment lens on it. If I search Google for this image, we can see that this, uh, this wallpaper website called Wallpaper Flare apparently thinks that you would want to use this image as a wallpaper. <laughs> and they, this wallpaper, they gave the name MacBook Pro near iPhone with clip lens on white desk computer. There are many things wrong with this, including the fact that this is not an iPhone, clearly, but you know, whatever. And they clearly know it's not an iPhone because down here they tagged it as Google Pixel, so Pixel 2, I don't know. This website called Lingo Networks. And here's where things get interesting. On Amazon, there's uh, this brand called Pe Piul, Pe Payul made a waterproof case for some JBL speaker and um, <laughs> high quality. <laughs> I, don't, I just, I mean, if you're gonna use the photo, you know, do whatever you want with it. But this, I mean, it just, that's, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, this website, I think it's a blog of someone. Oh, we've got another Amazon listing from the same brand with a different speaker, and they have once again poorly photoshopped it into my photo. Although they did a much worse job this time, I have no clue what is going on over here. <laughs> it looks like we have it on somebody's affiliate shop, and they're describing Moment Gear, which is actually really cool, because I'm kind of doing some inadvertent advertising for Moment, which I think is spectacular. I love Moment stuff. And now we have something on Google Play. <laughs> Good lock pr premium lock screen. Contains ads. <laughs> so it looks like, oh, there it is. Look at that, right up here. So what they did, this is actually kind of clever, and the Photoshop isn't bad. So what they did is they took my original photo right here with the phone, and they Photoshopped a different phone right in its place, and they even did some work around here to make sure that the lighting looked right and the shadows and everything. Yeah, so apparently my photos are being used to advertise for this, uh, this random app. Now I'll check out a couple of highlights. So, Here's a picture that I took of my room. Another listing for, this time, an Amazon uh, Wi-Fi smart light. And there is my bedroom. <laughs> and it looks like this website has my photo at the very bottom as the header for another article. This photo that I took in Concord, we've got a mortgage company, an exterior painting company. Improve your curb appeal and sharpen the look of your home with a new exterior paint job. I have a good feeling they didn't paint this. Another real estate type of blog. Real wood floors. Ah, there it is. This photo that I took with my friends around a fire pit. Summer camp podcast. And there it is. <laughs> and here. And here. And here. And here. Uh, and here, and here, and here, $2,000, <laughs> okay. And we're gonna say that's it for now on this one. I think you get the point. That just goes to show that all I did was upload this photo onto Unsplash and then people came to me and used my photos. Some of them gave me credit for it and then linked back to this page, which is really neat. Some of them didn't, but that's totally okay. I'm not looking to make any money from putting this out. I just think it's super neat to be able to see, hey look, the photos that I took are going all across the internet and being used in totally different and very creative ways. I think it's very neat, and if you have any photos that you'd like to share, go to unsplash.com and upload them. And yeah, it's very fun to watch your photos float around the internet into a bunch of different little places. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you around. Thank <laughs> you.